Lily Tarantula Girl coming to you from my private Serpentarium tonight bringing you a really fun video. This is Tarantulas Post Molt. I've done a little molting series on what it looks like when your animal's preparing to molt, how to care for your animal freshly after their molt, and now what they look like a few weeks after, which is really fun because they're really bright and new and beautiful, yet past that vulnerable stage where you have to be really careful and you can't even breathe on them. I'm gonna show you several animals tonight. I've gotten lots of questions very recently about animals that won't eat and animals looking kind of distended, bald abdomens, all the sexy signs that your tarantula is getting ready to molt and they look like big fat giant grubs. So anyway, I referred those people to my video about is my tarantula about to molt and then my post molt care. And so this is just kind of a follow up on all that. It's springtime, so that's gonna trigger a molt in some people's animals, at least here on the North American continent anyway. I know I have viewers all over the place. This was just a fun excuse to show you lots of beautiful animals on my brand new camera. I hope you guys like this. Let's get started. First specimen I want to show you is a beautiful Chromatopelma cyanopubescence, also known as a GBB or green bottle blue. And this has been, it's been a, a week or two, so I can poke him a little bit. Don't gall PETA. This animal's not suffering any psychological distress from this. Just trying to get him or her to spread out a little bit so you can see the beauty. Here's the molt here. And still has nice color and everything, but now it's even bigger and more beautiful than ever before. Here we have a lovely brand new Brachypelma erratum. And you can see the molt here that's nice. And you can see how dull that coloration had got compared to the beautiful crisp red knees that this animal is currently sporting. Beautiful. Speaking of Brachypelma, I had this lovely Brachypelma smith eye from which I understand is still Brachypelma smithi. I have waited about two weeks to show you all these animals to make sure I did not stress them out and endanger them in any way. This is a cute little one. Probably the fifth molt. They grow really slowly. Here's a Brachypelma smithi that is two years older and you can see how much bigger this one is. Although, if you consider that it took this animal two years to grow that much larger, in tarantula time, that's actually relatively slow. On another note, here is a beautiful Trixopelma ocrati, who is, I keep some of my ocrati in terrestrial and some in arboreal enclosures because they have been documented living both ways and they all seem perfectly happy. You can see this one's molted and growing up and just as freaked out as any other Thrixopelma ocrati always is. But I love the colors of this species even though they are psychotic hair kickers and uh, just thought it was really beautiful. This is a lovely Postlotheria miranda. See here's the molt. And it's all folded up like they typically get when they kind of dry out. And here is the new beautiful animal. Hope you can see her. She is quite lovely. Now I wanted to film this video because first of all, it's fun to show off animals and their brand new exuviae. I get a lot of questions about seeing molts, so here are the molts from the animals that I just pulled. I hope you guys like this one. I hope you guys enjoyed seeing all the brand new beautiful skeletons of my animals. As you know, tarantulas have exoskeletons, which is an external skeleton on the outside of their body, which makes their 
process of growth and development super duper interesting. Hope you guys like this one. Again, brought to you by Zilla. Thank you, Zilla. And I can't wait to be sporting their new shirts, which will be coming very soon. I hope you guys like this one, and I'll see you next time. Have a wonderful night. It's a point when it's over.